Hello and welcome to a Drupal Easy video quick tip on using the ECA module and the OpenAI slash ChatGPT integration module to automatically create a summary of a node's body text whenever the node is saved. It is important to note that to implement the functionality shown in this video, an account with OpenAI is required and API keys from this account must be provided on the OpenAI settings page. We will start with the Drupal 10.1.7 site with all the necessary modules enabled, including bpmn.io for ECA, ECA base, ECA bpmn, ECA content, ECA core, ECA UI, and finally the OpenAI chat GPT ECA module. Now when you enable this last one, this will automatically enable some of the other OpenAI modules. Before we begin, it is important to note that I have created an AI summary text field, type of plain and long. I have created that on the article content type. And this is the field for which the summary will be stored once it is generated. Next, we'll go ahead and create the ECA model by going to Configuration Workflow ECA, adding a new model, I like giving it a name to start off with. Let's call this Generate AI Summary. Next, we'll create the event that we need. And we'll call this Save Article Node. And we'll use the pre-save content entity event. And then an action to get the value of the body field. And there is a get field value action, so we'll do that. The field name that we're interested in is the body field. And we're going to save this as a value of, or a token with the name of body value. And this is, uh, we're going to be getting this field from a node. And we're going to link all these together in a second, but next up we're going to generate the AI summary and this template. Oops. There we go. We're going to use the OpenAI chat GPT chat action. And the input for this is going to be the body value. The result is going to be the AI summary and the prompt that we're going to use is summarize the following text in 30 words or less colon and then this is where we are going to give it the body value token everything else we can leave default values and then the last step is we have to save the value to the field so set AI summary field value. And we're going to use the set field value action provided by ECA module. And the field name, field AI summary. This is the one I created before the screencast. And the field value is going to be the token that we got from, that we set there, which is AI-summary. And this is going to be saved to a node. And then finally, we just need to link all these together. And because it is a pre-save event, we don't actually need the save event because that will automatically happen. Although we did somehow, did I not set that? On the pre-save event, we get the body value, we generate the summary, we set the field value. Let's hit save. Now, let's test it. I went over to Project Gutenberg. Moby Dick is uh, in the public domain. So I grabbed a few chapters of that, pasted that in there, and it will show up in here after we save. And let's take a look. And there we go. And there is our summary generated from ChatGPT.
Thank you for watching this Drupal Easy video quick tip. My name is Mike Anello, and if you have Drupal training, development, or project coaching needs, please check us out at DrupalEasy.com.